Now guys, this is section 9.12, Henry's Law and the Solubility of Gases in a Solvent. Um, so every, anytime you have a solution, there's going to be some gaseous species above it, because if it's a vacuum, it's not going to stay as a liquid. Um, but for example, um, a bottle of beer, there's a, there's a head pressure above the liquid in that sealed bottle of beer, and it's higher than atmospheric pressure. And one of the reasons is to keep the carbon dioxide dissolved in the, in the beer. Um, which is why when you open up the beer, um, you decrease the pressure above the solution and um, some of the carbon dioxide comes out of solution and foams up. Um, so anyway, let's look at that. Let's look at this case here. So the equilibrium is going to be the carbon dioxide in the beer in equilibrium with the carbon dioxide in the vapor phase. Um, the chemical potential um, for the carbon dioxide in the beer would be equal to the chemical potential of the um, pure carbon dioxide in the vapor phase. And we're going to use the Henry's Law um, standard state here because carbon dioxide is not very soluble in, in either water or ethanol, which is basically what beer is, um, plus the RTLN of the activity of the, the solute, which is carbon dioxide. Um, <clears throat> so the mole fraction of the carbon dioxide is defined as the moles of carbon dioxide divided by the total moles, which is moles of carbon dioxide, water, and ethanol. We're ignoring all the other little things in there that give it its different taste. They're, they're um, minimal. minimal. Um, also, even in this expression here, we're going to ignore the moles of carbon dioxide in the denominator because it's going to be, you'll see, much less than the moles of water and ethanol. Um, our, what we're going to want to do, what we're, what we're going to do now, is we're going to find moles of carbon dioxide that's dissolved in that bottle of beer, how much carbon dioxide is in that beer. Um, To do that, um, well, the, the moles of carbon dioxide is equal to the you know, moles of water and ethanol times the mole fraction of carbon dioxide in the beer. Um, and what we're going to do here is we're going to use the activity in place of the mole fraction. The activity using Henry's Law standard is the pressure of carbon dioxide above the solution divided by Henry's Law constant for carbon dioxide. Okay. Um, all right, so if we go back, just to make sure, so if we go back here to the, um, the mole fraction, if we take this times the, mole, the denominator, we get moles of carbon dioxide, which is, that's, that's what we're doing right here. Um, so we need to know a few, few numbers um, easily available. So let's say we have a, um, a 750 milliliter bottle of beer, so about 20 ounces or so. Um, typically in a bottle of beer, the, the pressure the head pressure in there is about 21, 20, 21 psi above atmospheric pressure, so it's um, you know 21 psi plus atmospheric pressure, which is like about 14 and a half psi. Um, when you convert that total pressure to bar, it's, it's about 2.45 bars. That 2.45 bars, guys, that's the total pressure in there, which is atmospheric pressure plus the head pressure. Um, it's all CO2 though in there, basically. I mean, essentially all carbon dioxide. Um, <clears throat> Now, if the beer is about 7% alcohol by volume, um, if we know that, um, know the density of water and ethanol, um, and we're also going to need Henry's Law constant, but we can look that up, we can find out how many moles of carbon dioxide are in that bottle of beer by taking, by, you know, using this equation right here. So we're going to need to know the moles of water and the moles of ethanol. Um, we have 750 moles of beer. It's 7% ethanol by volume which means we have about 52, 53 milliliters of ethanol. And 750 minus 52.5 is 697.5 milliliters of water in there. Taking the volume of ethanol and using the density, um, we find that we have this many grams of ethanol in that bottle of beer. Um, divided by the molar mass of ethanol gives us the moles of ethanol, which is what we need right here. Doing the same thing with water. Okay, so you have about 698 or so mils of water times the density of water at about, you know, 298 Kelvin, 25 Celsius. Um, we get this many grams of water divided by the molar mass of water, this many moles of water, which we need for right here. So now all we have to do, guys, is plug into this, this equation right here. Um, the moles of water and ethanol, water plus ethanol. This is the pressure of the carbon dioxide, you know, before you open the bottle, right, with the, the cap sealed. And this right here, guys, this is Henry's Law constant for carbon dioxide in an aqueous solution. Um, you just looked that up. Anyway, so we find that we have about 0.059 moles of carbon dioxide 
dissolved in that 750 milliliter bottle of beer.